Hello everyone, welcome back to JK Dentist. Today we are going to learn about wound healing. So before starting with the wound healing, let's see what is injury. Injury is break in epithelial continuity. Healing occurs by two main mechanisms that is regeneration and repair. In regeneration, there is complete restoration of the original tissue without scar formation. While in repair, tissue do not return to normal architecture and there is formation of a scar. Healing occurs by two main intentions that is primary intention and secondary intention. In the primary intention, there is clean cut wound. For example, your hand get cut by a knife or a razor or any surgical incision that is considered in primary intention. The edges are closed in case of primary intention and there is no scar formation. While in secondary intention, the wound of an ulcer, diabetic foot or bed sore is considered. So in this, the edges are away from each other. And because of that, there will be scar formation. So let's see what happens in primary intention. But before that, we will see what will happen when there is injury to the capillaries. In this, you can see there is a network of capillaries which is connecting the small arteries and small veins. The capillaries helps in transferring the oxygen and nutrients and carrying away the carbon dioxide and other waste material. When there is injury to the capillaries, the capillaries get dilated. Along with that, there is increased permeability and increase in the surface area of the capillaries. Because of that, there will be swelling redness and heat. So because of the capillary action you will see the swelling, redness and heat. Now we will see what happens in the primary intention. So when there is injury you can see a clean cut. It has injured till the capillaries. The epithelial attachment is also been broken. So first there will be a formation of clot. The dehydrated clot is called as cap. So there is cap. As soon as there is clot, the inflammatory reaction starts and neutrophils comes in action. They will try to gather whole area and their main action is cleaning the debris and the waste material. So they will start cleaning. In the primary intention, there is less epithelial damage, less connective tissue damage and less cell damage. That's why the nutrient don't have much work compared to secondary intention. After 24 hours, in between 3 to 7 days, what happens? The neutrophils are being replaced by macrophage. The my macrophage comes and eat the neutrophils and other debris and starts cleaning the area. Along with that, there will be formation of granulation tissue. Granulation tissue starts formation from the base and it invades the whole area. Along with that, there will be formation of new capillaries. The fibroblast cells will be laid and there will be vertical collagen fibers. With that, in this area, there will be mitosis that is cell division and because of that there will be formation of a thick epithelial layer. In the first 24 hours there is formation of a thin epithelial layer and in between 3 to 7 days the level, la layer becomes thick. So this happens from 3 to 7 days. After that or you can say after 2 weeks there is fibrous union the vertical fibers become horizontal. There is 
union of the fibrous material and the capillaries are also united the wound is healed as well as the epithelial layer become keratinized so there is no scar formation in this the edges were very close to each other that's why it is easy for the closure and sometimes the edges are being sutured so less work is required and there will not be any scar but it is exactly opposite to that of secondary intention in the secondary intention the wound area is very large you can see that the edges are very much away from each other so in this also similar mechanism will occur and first there will be formation of a clot after formation of the clot the neutrophils will start its action and will start cleaning the debris after 24 hours similarly the macrophage will come and will start its work and neutrophils will go away there will be increased contraction of the wound for the closure of the edges and there will be new capillaries along with that there will be increased granulation tissue starting from the base in this everything will be in more quantity that is there will be more capillaries more granulation tissue more work has to be done by the macrophages to clean the debris and the waste material here because of the wound contraction there will be formation of a scar so there is repair mechanism in the secondary intention and the vertical fibers led by the fibroblast The collagen will be here is horizontal, so that is the difference. There is scar formation, and in the primary intention there was no scar. So this was all about primary intention healing and secondary intention healing. Now, how the healing is affected by? The healing is mainly affected by age factors. If the patient have systemic diseases like diabetes, which delays the healing. the healing can also be affected by anemia hypoxia nutritional deficiencies metabolic disorders so sometimes you need to see these factors also while considering healing sometimes healing can be aggravated in that case we can see keloid as well as the hypertrophic scar So this is all for today in which i have told completely about the healing by primary and secondary intentions and how the healing can be affected i hope you understood the topic thank you so much